Now let's look at Pool D. Pool D, I believe, is actually the weakest pool in the group based on an only 40% map winning percentage against the other pools in this PLQ. So teams that finish third and fourth in this pool, I don't actually think uh, they're going to make it to league, but maybe they'll prove me wrong. So at the top, starts with Evil Geniuses. Evil Geniuses, despite finishing top eight, only had nine and 10 map count against the other PLQ teams. They're led by Zotic in Respawn and SMD, where Zotic has a 1.12 in Respawn, along with all four other players below 0.95. In SMD, Zotic is a beast at a 1.42. Red Reserve, the power European team, what many thought would be the best European team entering this event, actually got outplaced by both Team Sween and Lightning Pandas. So, a disappointing placement for Red Reserve, and now is when they got to prove it. Some will actually pick Red Reserve over EG as the favorite to win Pool D because of how big the brands are on these players. Scraps was a disappointment in SMD. He had a .88, but was a beast in respawn still dropping a 1.12. Bance, you know, wondering if he can step it up. He only had a .75 in SMD and a 1.01 in respawn. This team's got a lot of star power. Will Scraps come out and really shine? Will Rated come out and be a dominant AR? Are Bans or Zero going to have fantastic events? All these players are very hit or miss about how good these events are, but against some lighter competition, I think Red Reserve will shine and really hold on and be one of those top two teams in this pool. Keep in mind that they did beat Mind Freak, but they actually lost in Game 5 to both UIU Gaming and Evil Geniuses. So they had two tough Game 5 losses against teams that they're playing in this pool. So look forward to it being a Red Reserve Revenge Tour, actually, in Pool D. And they should finish first or second, but it's going to be continued disappointment if they struggle against EG and UIU again. UIU Gaming, right here at the third spot in Pool D, had an 8 and 9 map count against other PLQ teams. They did make a roster change. They dropped Nova and picked up Gorgo Knight. They had an interesting 7 and 7 map count in Respawn, but they stunk in SMD, where Skies was their best SMD player at a 1.03, and they only had a 1 and 5 map count. So for UIU Gaming, if they want to get top 2, or if they want to do well in that double elimination bracket, it's going to come down to how well they do in SMD. Can you win those Game 2s, and especially can you win those Game 5s for UIU Gaming, featuring Skies, Mayhem, Nova, Proto, and Spoof, members of that Allegiance roster that in the past, and also GGA Orange, that have been just on the cusp of the Pro League in the past. These players are really dying to get into that Pro League. Mind Freak, the Australians, made two interesting roster changes. They only they stunk at CWL Vegas. They had a five and thirteen map count against PLQ teams. They went a miserable one and twelve in respawn, but they still feel good about making that league, and I feel good about how well they're going to do. They added Swifty and Beaston. They dropped Excite and they moved Buzzo to a coaching role. Buzzo had a .7 KD for them, and I think that's going to help a lot with Swifty and Beaston bringing a new flavor to this team. And I think Mind Freak is definitely going to have a bounce back event. And they may not actually finish one or two in this group, but I like their odds to find a way into the league. And it would be pretty tough for a lot of these players if they couldn't make it to league play. At number five, we have an interesting squad, the Imperial. They did take a win over Fact Revolution, but they also lost to G2 Esports and Accelerate Gaming uh, in that open bracket and the championship losers bracket. An interesting squad of players you've heard of before. Moose, Denza, Vortex, Hockey, and Reedy. A lot of players you've seen on the big stage. So don't sleep on these Europeans. These are some experienced players. They know what it takes to get to the league. They didn't make any roster changes. They might come out and really surprise and, you know, grab some wins. And, you know, if they have a good event, they will put themselves in the league for sure. In that sixth seed, we have the Movistar Riders, a Spanish team that did make a roster change. They dropped Paluca and they added Catru that adds to a roster that includes Oni, Supras, Sami, and Puni. A lot of players that really, unless you're living in Spain, we haven't heard of. They're going to be new to the scene. No expectations really for Movistar Riders. A lot of decent teams in this pool. Movistar is going to have to get some real upsets to really get out of that sixth spot. Uh, in Vegas, they did win over Nation of Power, so they have that win under the 
over the number seven seed, but they lost to Mazer Gaming and FaZe Clan Black, so they're definitely going to have to play better if they want to make it out of this pool. And in that seven hole in Pool D, a team with no expectations at all, but an interesting road, it is Nation of Power. They pick up Robbie B and Zinx as replacements for J Timp and Rambi. They had the most dramatic way of getting here. They lost in winner's round two of the open bracket. That's right, round two. And they had to win six series in a row. They won six in a row before finally losing to the Movistar Riders, another team in this pool, and at least landed themselves a spot here. So of all the underdogs in this entire 28 team field, Nation of Power is the biggest underdogs. They were the most likely team to go 0-7 and every series win they get will be a surprise for Nation of Power. So if you want to talk about the underdog of all underdogs here, it's Nation of Power, and that makes it a compelling storyline to watch. So we'll see if they can shake it up and maybe avoid the bottom of this pool. So looking back over Pool D, Red Reserve looks like they want to take it. Evil Geniuses is still really good. They finished top eight at Vegas. They want to finish number one. I really think it's going to be a battle between those two for number one in the pool, and I wouldn't even be surprised if some of these, if either of these squads maybe have a bad event and finish third or fourth in the pool because both UIU Gaming and Mind Freak look to improve and really do better at Vegas as well as the Imperial, really flying under the radar. So a lot of solid teams. This could be a chaotic pool, but it also is likely to end up as Red Reserve EG is 1-2. So a lot to watch for in this pool, especially with how well UIU shows up, how good Mind Freak really is, whether the Imperial is worth paying attention to. A lot of interesting uh, stuff to watch in the middle of this pool with what teams are here to make league play and what teams are going to sort of fall and have weak events. Two matches I'm watching on Wednesday in Pool D. Evil Geniuses plays against Mind Freak in a fun matchup that will really show us this new Mind Freak roster and how good Evil Geniuses even is. If EG wins, they're looking, you know, they're on pace to continue to win this pool. But if Mind Freak wins, then the whole pool gets shaken up. Same thing, Red Reserve will be playing UIU Gaming. Red Reserve should come out and make this a statement win to show that this is the Red Reserve squad that can be a top four team. But UIU Gaming is also got that underdog, got that dark horse, number three seed spot. If they take out Red Reserve, all of a sudden, all eyes are on them to really lock down a top two spot and make the Pro League, which would be a big win for a roster of Skies, Mayhem, Nova, Proof, and Spoof. Proof and Spoof. Proto and Spoof. Thanks for watching this video. Drop a follow on Twitter at mstrite61 and keep up with that Reddit content as well from mstrite61.